All right, a couple things to talk about. First off, it's going to be warmer than average today. Enough instability aloft where some of us actually could have the straight thunderstorm roll through that. And then the afternoon and the evening with the warmer temperatures could give us some heavy rainfall. Just real brief period downpours and maybe some gusty winds. Speaking of the winds, cold front making its way through. That's going to cool us down moving forward 40s and 50s for the rest of the week. But it's going to pick up those winds. We're seeing the winds this morning. By lunchtime, especially gust over 30 miles an hour along our western foothills. Then as we get into tomorrow, it's going to spread across the rest of the region, rest of the Q2 viewing area, gust 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, especially up in the northeast corner of the Q2 viewing area, including Weibo, uh, Dawson counties in our area. It's very, very windy with gusts up to 50 miles an hour for Tuesday with a humidity as low as 15%. So fire weather watch will be in effect. No outside burning, okay, and nothing that's going to cause any sparking. I mentioned today going to be quite warm. Now you can see the effects of the cold front already on the western side of the state, moving west to east, 40s, 50s, and 60s today. Then the cold front brings those temperatures down, 40s and 50s, moving forward all the way through at least Friday. Another shot of energy comes in the middle of the week, upper level low out of Canada. That's going to keep that rain and snow in the forecast, the, the snow mainly in the upper elevations of the mountains, but we could see some snow mixing in with the rain in the lower foothills. And then as we get into the weekend, jury's still out. We do have a chance maybe of more rain uh, holding on, but all models seem to agree we'll be warming up again.